All right, this is lesson 12, session three, multiplying by two digit numbers. Students, this is the group of papers that you need to complete these first before you watch this video. So if you have not already, go ahead and complete pages 263, 264, 265, and 266. And after you're done with those, then you can come back and watch this video. All right, if you are still watching this video, or if you have turned it back on, that means you are done with pages 263 through 266. So right here on 263, you're gonna be checking over your answers. Now this first one says, find the product of 15 and 24, show your work. So I'm first gonna put 15, an expanded form, which is 10 plus 5. Then I'm going to put 24, an expanded form, which is 20 plus 4. I'm going to come down here and draw my box for my area model. I'm going to put one of them over on this side, and I'm going to put the other on the top. Any place where there's a plus sign is going to get divided. And now I am ready to multiply. So starting with 10 times 20, 1 times 2 is 2, and then add my two zeros. And I'm doing 10 times 4, which is 40. Down here I'm doing 5 times 20, 5 times 2 is 10, and then I add my zero down here. 5 times 4 is 20. Now I'm going to add all these. So we have 200, check, plus 40, check, plus 100, check, plus 20, check. Add them together. Zero is a zero. Zero plus four plus zero plus two is six. Two plus one is two. So my answer here is 260. Let's go ahead and move on to page 264. Okay, what is the product of 12 and 32? So this time I'm going to use the partial products method, but if you want to use the area model, you are welcome to do the area model. So our problem here is 12 times 32. I'm going to start off by covering this right here. So I have two ones times two ones. Then I have two ones times one ten. Now I can open this up. Now I have three tens times two ones. Then three tens times one ten. Now I'm ready to solve. Two ones times two ones is the same as two times two, and the answer is four. Two ones times one ten. One ten is the same as ten, so two times ten is twenty. Three tens, which is thirty, times two ones is like thirty times two. So three times two is six, and then we add our zero, which is sixty. 3 tens, which is 30, times 1 ten, which is 10. So we have 3 times 1, which is 3, and then we add our two zeros. So we add it together. 4 plus zeros is 4. 6 plus 2 is 8. And then bring down our 3. So our answer is 384. Okay, now we're moving on to number three. A deli is preparing trays of sandwiches. There are 48 trays, so trays of sandwiches, 48 trays. Each tray has 23 sandwiches. How many sandwiches are there? So they must be having a party or something, so they're preparing trays of sandwiches. 48 times 23 is our problem here. I don't really have enough room right here, so I'm going to go up here to do this, but before I do that, I'm going to put these in expanded form right here. 
So I have 40 plus 8, 20 plus 3. And then I'm going to come up here to solve this problem. I'm going to make my box 40 plus 8, 20 plus 3, where my pluses are, is going to get lines. And now I'm ready to solve it. Okay. 40 times 20, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 zeros. 40 times 3, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 zero. 8 times 20, 8 times 2 is 16, add a zero. 8 times 3, which is 24. Now I'm going to add these numbers together. 800 plus 120 plus 160 plus 24. Zero is plus 4. 2 plus 6 is 8 plus 2 more is 10. 8, 9, 10, 11. 1,104. And I can see that that is number C. Nathan chose A as the correct answer. How did he get that answer? Well, let's look here. If he got 240, hmm, it looks like he probably left something out. Maybe he only did the tens, no. Maybe he only did the ones, no. Do you think maybe he estimated? That would be 50 times 20, but 5 times 2 is 10, and we add those two zeros, so that would be 1,000, so no. Maybe he added something instead of multiplied. I think that might be it, maybe. What type of answer, what did he do wrong? I think that he left off some zeros when he was trying to get his answer. Because if we look over here and we um, add some numbers, multiply some numbers, we see that these ones right here have zeros. And I think he left those off and then added those right there. So that is how he got that answer. Okay, let's go ahead and go to number four. A person blinks about 16 times per minute. About how many times does a person blink in three hours? And then it gives us a hint that one hour is 60 minutes, okay? How many times does a person blink in three hours if they blink 16 times per minute, okay? So first, this is kind of a multi-step problem, because first we have to do 16 times 60, and then that answer we have to multiply times 3, okay? So first let's do this one. This is 60 plus 0, and then this is 10 plus 6. 60 times 10 is 600. 60 times 6 is 360, then 0 and 0. So 600 plus 360 would be 960. Okay, so 960 times in an hour, but we need 3 hours. So we need 960 times 3. Okay, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 9 is 27, 28. So 2,880 is our answer. What is the product of 4791? Well, let's put 47 into expanded form. Let's put 91 into expanded form. And then let's draw our area model. 40 plus 7. 90 plus 1, so 40 times 90, so 4 times 9 is 36, plus 2 zeros. 
40 times 1 is 40. 7 times 90 is going to be 63 plus a 0. And 7 times 1 is 7. Let's add those together. 3,600 plus 40 plus 630 plus 7. Zeros and 7. 4 and 3 is 7. 6 and 6 is 12 and a four, so 4,277. Number six, which models below could represent the solution to the problem 45 times 15? Okay, over here, if you do 10 plus five, you get 15. Up here, if you do 40 plus five, you get 45. That matches, so A would work. Down here, we're making jumps that are 15 each, but we would have to jump 45 times, and they only jumped one, two, three times. So that one would not work. Okay, down here, four times one. Do we have a, anything in the ones place? No. So this one we already know is not gonna work. 10 times 40, 10 times five. Yeah, if we broke 15 apart into 10 and 5 and broke this apart into 40 and 5, 10 times 40, 10 times 5, yeah. 5 times 40, 5 times 5, 5 times 40, 5 times 5. That one works. And then our last one, here's jumps that are 45 each. So if there's 15 of them, this will work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This one works. I'm going to tell you that you're going to have one that looks just like this on your graded assignment. So see here, all here, this jump is worth 45. Well, we've got a 45 right here. So if we can do 45 15 times, that would be what the answer would be, which is 675. Go ahead and turn to page 266. Okay. Complete each equation below using a factor between 20 and 30 so that the missing factor in Ian's equation will give the greatest possible three-digit product. Well, if we pick a number between 20 and 30, the highest number we can pick before we get 20 is 29. Now down here, the missing factor in Tia's equation will give the least possible four-digit product. Well, between 20 and 30, the smallest one between them would be 21. So this one is 29, and this one is 21. First, I'm going to do ands. Forty times 20, four times two is eight, plus two zeros. Four times nine is 36, plus a zero. 2 times 3 is 6, add a 0. 3 times 9 is 27. So let's add those together. 800 plus 360 plus 60 plus 27. So we've got 7, 12, 13, 14, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1,247. Now we're doing the smallest one. So draw our area model again. We've got 40 plus 3 and 20 plus 1. 40 times 20, that's still 800. 40 times 1 is 40. 20 times 3 is 60. And 3 times 1 is 3. Let's add those together. So we got 3, 10. 903 is your smallest number. All right, Mo has 14 tutoring sessions. Each session is 35 minutes long. How many minutes does Mo spend in the 14 sessions? Show your work. Well, 35 in expanded form is 30 plus 5. 14 is 10 plus 4. So let's draw our area model, 30 plus 5, 10 plus 4. 
30 times 10, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 zeros is 300. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 zero, 120. 5 times 10 is 50, and 5 times 4 is 20. Now I'm going to add those together. 300 plus 120 plus 50 plus 20. So zeros, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3, and 4. So 490 uh, minutes. And you do not have to do number 9. So that is it for session 3. Hopefully you did a good job. If not, then you probably need to schedule some tutoring. I'll see you back for the next lesson.